Hello everyone. For this week's video, I wanted to show you how you can make your own three-part coaster set. And uh, this particular set here comprises of two coasters for glasses and a wine coaster, which is that square one there in the background. And I'll show you how I've done it and hopefully you can replicate it yourself. So today I'm going to be using craft resin. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, two-part, low viscosity resin. So in my studio I have different types of resin depending on what type of work I'm doing. In general, whatever I've got in stock I'll use. And this resin worked great for this particular project. It's more adapted for wine glasses and cold beverages than it is hot beverages. That's just my advice. Always wear a mask. There's mine. And I wanted to show you how I made these little gold nuggets. Let's call them gold nuggets. And I'm going to be placing them in the middle. And it's basically UV resin on a piece of acetate. And then I've cured it under the lamp with the stones. And they come out sort of like these stone chips. And it's just an experiment. I wanted to see if it would work. I had no idea if it would work. At the end it did. And I may, I may do it again. It was quite fun to do. So I'm using some of this Rebel Glitter. It's their white ignition dust. It's from just for you online.uk. I used it so much it had well, some of the label has scratched off there, but I'm just using a paintbrush and I am just dusting on a light coating of it directly onto the, the coaster molds. Just a little bit, not too much, just where I kind of want it to go. And again, this was just an experiment. So there's a close-up of it and uh, what happens is when the resin dries it does pick up that shimmer just enough and it stays on the areas that you've placed it down on. Whereas if you'd mix it into the resin and put it just there in the centre, it may float around and end up somewhere else. Now because the middle of these coasters are going to be transparent, you can see this effect much better because I don't use the other side of my re uh, coasters very often as they're all matte and if I like the effect I do keep it and um, if you wait patiently for my next video you'll see an example of this um, so just a little bit place it down just where you want the sparkle to shine I've mixed this resin up according to the manufacturer's instructions so one-to-one -one ratio so it's equal parts part A of the resin and equal parts part B to the hardener. You mix it for three minutes and it's quite thick in the beginning and it does become more fluid once it's completely mixed after three minutes. So I'm just mixing in my purple there. It's just pure purple, maybe a spoonful of the um, purple mica powder. As I said, all of the products that I've used, I'll list them down below. And if you want to buy it, I also have a 10% discount for, for you to spend on any purchases. So I received this square coaster from Amazon. And um, I'm not going to list this in my descriptions below, simply because it's quite a poor product. And it's not for me to say, but often when you buy these cheap silicone coasters, Okay, well, let's say they come from a certain Asian country. As it happens in this particular video, and using this square mold, I didn't use a blowtorch at all. I used a heat gun, yet it's still stuck to the sides, which means that I will have to sand those sides down and they will no longer be shiny because I cannot leave this coaster with bits of silicone stuck to the sides, it doesn't look professional. So I wasn't very pleased with the quality of this and as I've said before I am very happy to endorse products that I believe in because there are many cheap alternatives but if they don't work you've actually wasted your money because you can't use them again. So it's always best to buy quality and there are plenty of companies that sell great silicone molds, including just for you online.uk. 
and for the moment I will I have no time to produce any more of my molds so they are out of stock and for the foreseeable future I won't be making very many because they were actually quite a long process to do and took up a great majority of my time So here I am placing down the nuggets, I do like to call them nuggets, my little gold nuggets. And I'm just putting a little bit of resin on the top to hold it down. Now it doesn't matter if once it's dry, if they slightly bump up a bit. I could have done another top coat to flatten it completely, but quite honestly if you've ever looked at teacups or mugs or wine glasses or champagne glasses they sort of curve in this underneath and this won't affect it and I've actually tested this out and you'll see in the close-up later on that there is a slight bump on the top I got asked a very smart question by a commenter on one of my YouTube videos and she said to me oh I spend ages trying to get everything perfect and does it have to be now honestly, if there's a slight bit of dust that's fallen into your coaster whilst it was drying, or there's a slight bump, or there's an area that's lost its shine, just think of it as a natural geode. Also, you have to take into consideration wear and tear. You might buy something brand new, that's absolutely sparkling, but then when you get it home, there is natural wear and tear. So natural wear and tear is normal. and. You don't have to go crazy when you're making these to sell or just making them for yourself. They will still look fabulous and they will still impress. And after all, they will have something on top of them. So that little speck of dust, that, that villain little speck of dust that floated in, despite carefully covering it with a box to protect it, I have no idea, but this always happens and there's always at least one little speck of naughty dust. So don't worry too much about it. It's better that you use them than you throw them away thinking they're imperfect. That would be such a waste and totally unecological. So I hope that answers your question. And this process is mostly about enjoying your work and ultimately using your work, but not if it's caused you a lot of stress. So these are done and they're gonna cure. And I wanted to explain to you when it comes to resins, I do get asked a lot of questions how long you can um, use your coasters after they've dried. Now this particular resin, craft resin, says it cures in 24 hours. I like to double that, I like to wait twice that before considering it completely cured. So this is the next day and I'm unmolding them. And as you can see, they come off pretty well. Um, my coasters have a matte side and the top side is obviously shiny. That's the resin. And you can see it's slightly, not completely flat, but it's absolutely usable. It's not something you want to drive yourself mad about. Um, it, as I said, cups are perfectly usable. So then comes unmolding this square silicone and to start off with I didn't have much trouble with some of the sides it wasn't terribly easy to take off you can see I'm struggling slightly but then for some reason with the last side I couldn't get it off it just wouldn't budge and I don't see why this particular side would be different to the other three sides it's in the same mold using the same resin on the same day so you can see I literally had to rip it off and that wasn't fun. As I said, um, I will have to sand down the sides. I will start with a um, heavy grit and go down to a fine grit and it won't be particularly shiny but it will certainly be usable and obviously 
I will be looking into a new mold for that one or I'll just create one of my own because that mold is totally unusable now and unfortunately that's what you get if you pay cheap you get cheap So now I'm going to demonstrate to you what I was talking about curing time. So this is technically cured, it's hard, but as you can see when I cut that bit off it's still pliable and it shouldn't really be pliable, it should be rock solid, almost like shards of glass. And that's me doing a little test to show you. I wouldn't ordinarily do this, I know that it's not 100% cured. You can see it bends and it shouldn't do that. So I always add a day or two maybe three days instead of just the one. That's just me pushing it back into shape so that it cures flat. So always add a day or two. If you've got more time, add four days, why not? Until it's totally rock hard and you can just do that little test in which you try and bend it with your fingers. So these are them done. I put some of my gold edgings on the side and I will be putting some bumpers underneath. So this is the final look. Obviously, this is this one's not perfect, but it's still usable. And I love the overall effect. And I like that square shape because I have actually tested champagne bottles on it and I've tested uh, regular bottles of wine on it. And they actually fit perfectly well and it just stops it from sliding off the table. Now it's a lovely little coaster set. You could use it for Valentine's with a bottle of bubbly, two glasses and maybe a box of chocolates somewhere. So this was a lovely and fun video to do for you. I've really enjoyed it. I want to thank all of my subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Welcome all of my faithful subscribers. Thank you so much for giving me your time and your attention and your wonderful comments. And I will see you all in my next video. I wish you a fabulous week. Great weekend. Take good care of yourselves. Bye.